Hello everybody, Mike here at Game From Scratch, and today GitHub just released GitHub for Unity 1.0. Now this has been in beta for a couple of months now, but the final 1.0 release is now upon us. Now if you've never heard of it, GitHub is probably the biggest online repository for Git. And Git, G-I-T, is a version controlling software. Um, so basically GitHub can be used to store uh, your source code online, and thanks to something called Git LFS, or large file support, you can now use it to support uh, multimedia assets such as 3D models, etc. And so now it works nicely hand in hand with the product like Unity. Thus, uh, GitHub for UD 1.0. Now, GitHub has been in the news somewhat recently. They were just acquired by Microsoft. I did a video on that uh, a couple weeks back. It hasn't seemed to really impacted anything as of yet. And this announcement, this GitHub for Unity, started well before that. So it has nothing to do with the Microsoft acquisition. As you can see here on their blog, they're announcing the GitHub 1.0 release. Uh, talked about how it was in beta, how you can go ahead and get it, which we will go through in a second, and what the improvements are. The biggest things are there are file locking improvements in the UI. Uh, like so, you can lock out particular files so they can't be synced by other people using it. There is diffing support. Diffing is basically visualization of what has changed in a project. So you could quickly decide, um, you know, how to merge changes in, what the differences are between your branch and the master branch. Uh, they reduced the package size down a fair bit. So now the package is 1.6 megabytes, making it easier for them to push out updates. Uh, notifications of updates when a new version is available. Uh, email sign in for your GitHub account. Improved Git and Git LFS support on Macs, Git Action Bar for essential operations, and various bug fixes and improvements. Now, if you're interested in downloading um, GitHub for Unix, you can, oh, sorry, for uh, Unity, uh, you can grab it at unity.github.com. I will, of course, throw that link down below. I will also toss this link down below. Or you can just head on over into Unity, go to the Unity Asset Store, search for GitHub, and get it this way. It imports as a traditional file. Just bring that down, say, yes, I want to import it into my project. Uh, what I found interesting, though, was immediately after doing so, it did tell me there was an update available, and I really hate when people do that. But anyways, uh, it's down and it's enabled. I've already brought it in. You can see it's down here as a package somewhere. Actually, I believe it'll be a script. Anyways, it comes into your project. Oh, it's a plugin, GitHub, right? So as a plugin like that, you will see immediately there is a new window available over here, GitHub. You can assess that or access that using Windows. GitHub right here. Of course, Git started life as a command line or a terminal-based command, and you can still work that way. So if you want to use commands from the terminal, you can press this guy to spawn off um, a compatible command window, which apparently takes some time. Not sure what's going on there. I'll just shut that down. Or you can see over here, this is the window for the GitHub interface. Um, you can see I've got a one of their, their 2D pixel perfect Git projects open already. And you can see a lot has changed since I last used it. So if I wanted to do this, I could commit my changes up to master and then pull down all of their changes using the pull command right up here, like so. Not going to do that in this demo, but that is as easy as it gets to bring files down. If you had locked files, they would show up here. Currently, there are no locks, so it's not going to find any. Here, you can see the history of the uh, the Git repository we're working from. So you can see as they've people have made and committed changes to it. You can see those changes commented here. Uh, here, you can see uh, the various different branches available. Uh, I only have the one local branch, and there's only one remote branch available in this case. And then here are your settings available. Um, you can change out, here's where your pro repository that this project is pulling from is coming from. And then over here is where you do your authentication. So if I did a sign out, come up here and it'll basically just prompt you for your GitHub credentials. You put those in and you are off to the races. And that's about it. It's a very straightforward project, of course. Um, Git has been around forever. Uh, it hasn't really been appropriate for media type um, situations. That's why things like Perforce have actually been a little bit better for things like uh, media files, um, assets and stuff like that. But with LFS support, um, GitHub for Unity is a much, much, much more viable project. And you know what? Even if it's just you, you should probably be using uh, version control of some form. I, I'm awful about this. I just use Dropbox when I work on projects by myself. And I know that's a bad thing to do. So even if you're just a developer of one, the idea of having version control, remote backups, it's a very useful thing to get in the habit of. And then once you start working on a team, it is pretty much essential. Um, so this is GitHub for Unity. Uh, the official 1.0 release is upon us. And that's about it. Um, what do you think? Are you using Unity? Do you use source code? Are you going to start using source code now that it's easier? Or pff, you'll just take your chances. Let me know in the comments down below, and I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.